Welcome to Preserving the Pantry, where I talk about everything related to food preserving. I am your host, Kathy Burgett. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the pantry. Today, we're going to be talking about oven roasted tomatoes. Now, our gardening season is just coming to a close. We have not had a frost yet, but that really could happen any day. So we're trying to use up all the tomatoes that we can. And right now, we're still harvesting quite a few really nice ripe tomatoes. I love to make homemade tomato sauce and can that and store in my pantry to use all year long. But another favorite recipe is this oven roasted tomatoes. So the oven roasting just really intensifies the tomato flavor, making a delicious tomato. This recipe can be done with almost any type of tomato. You just want to make certain that they're really ripe. So I've done this with cherry tomatoes, aroma tomatoes, large sized tomatoes. You'll just want to try to make certain that the tomatoes that you are using are similar in size. So when I use cherry tomatoes, I try to use just the cherry tomatoes. What you're going to do is you'll start with about two pounds of tomatoes, but if you don't have quite that many, that's okay, you can use a smaller amount as well. You'll want to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Take a cookie sheet and line it with foil or parchment paper. When the tomatoes are being roasted, they release a lot of juices and the parchment paper and the fo- or the foil just makes cleanup that much easier. You'll take one head of garlic and slice it in half. And you'll need about a half a cup of oil and some fresh herbs, two to three sprigs of rosemary, thyme, or oregano. What you'll do is line your baking sheet, place the olive oil and the herbs in a bowl, and then cut your tomatoes in half. Place your tomatoes in the olive oil mixture and then toss it so that they're well coated in the olive oil. And then put your tomatoes on the baking sheet along with the head of garlic. Drizzle all that remaining olive oil over the tomatoes and the head of garlic. I also like to let the fresh herb sprigs right, I lay them right on the cookie sheet too. Put these in your oven and let them roast for about two hours and that's it. One of my favorite ways to eat the oven roasted tomatoes is by taking French bread and toasting it and then adding an herbed cream cheese and topping it with the oven roasted tomatoes. It makes a great appetizer. We also will take our oven roasted tomatoes and turn it into a delicious tomato sauce. And all you do for that is you take your tomatoes, that roasted garlic, you take some additional fresh oregano or thyme or basil, a little bit of brown sugar and salt, put it all in your food processor, and you just puree it until it's nice and smooth. You taste it, and if you need a little bit of extra salt or a little bit more brown sugar, the brown sugar will take away any of that acidity that that tomatoes may have. Then you add just a touch more, and then it's ready to be heated, and you just serve it over pasta. It has so much flavor. Now with this oven roasted tomato sauce, if I have an abundance of sauce that I've made, I store this in the freezer, pull it out when I need it, and just reheat it and then use it. One great thing about this oven roasted tomato sauce is it's so thick, not super watery because you've already taken out the excess water when you've slow roasted those tomatoes. Now, I want you to tune in again next week if you have a lot of tomatoes, especially if you have green tomatoes, because next week I'm going to share a recipe for green tomato relish, and it's a great way to use up that final little bit of tomatoes from your garden. I'll see you next week. Thanks for listening, and be sure to tune in again next week for more episodes of Preserving the Pantry. Preserving the Pantry.